guys, and aliens. I've been hearing this really weird beeping outside, so I thought I'd say hello to them too, in case they were readying their death beams. But yeah, I've got no idea what that beeping is. It's just like... But it's nowhere near as annoying as the intense drilling that's been continuing beneath me, through the wall, probably in the ceiling as well. Hello, ceiling cat. Yeah, I've had to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. Though that makes me worried that an axe murderer could just walk into my room at any time and be like, I'm gonna kill you, Philip. And I wouldn't hear him. And that would ruin the murder moment for him. And also, I wouldn't be able to use my intense ninja moves and scare him off. I'm actually glad I can speak to you guys today, though. As the other day, I was eating some delicious Doritos. But instead of biting into the Dorito, I bit into my tongue. Oh. Which was not ideal, and then I made the terrible mistake of googling my symptoms. Never google your symptoms, as they all look like... Anyway, painful tongue aside, I just got back from the snowy plains of the north, where I hung out with some family and friends, and getting there was a definite experience. You may have seen the trending hashtag, why is Phil running? As some of you saw me running through London like a drunken Sonic in an attempt to catch my train. Well, my friends, this is only half the story. Firstly, I was running late because I couldn't find my glasses anywhere. If you see a really intelligent looking sock goblin bouncing around, it's because he stole my glasses. Pesky fiend. So I whacked my contact lenses in. Whacked. That sounds a bit painful. I gently placed the weird pieces of plastic on my eyeballs and went outside to get the underground. This is when the incident happened. Seriously, this could only happen to me. I got on the tube and it was pretty crammed, but there was a seat next to a woman wearing a pretty yellow dress, so I sat next to her, and I don't know if she'd been rubbing cats all over her body before she left the house, but my allergies started to tickle. I gave them a quick rub, as you do, and then I realized I couldn't see out of my left eye. Had I filled my eye with cat fur? Nope. Had a moth flown into my eye? Nope. Had I just pressed some glass into my eye from the screen of my broken phone? Oh yeah, I broke my phone by the way. Uh, nope. My contact lens had fallen out. I looked on my legs, I looked on the floor, I looked all around the tube carriage until I shiftily looked to the right and I noticed that my contact lens had only gone and fallen out and stuck to the woman's arm. It wasn't on her dress, it was on her actual skin. She had my eye juice on her arm. I know as a decent human being, I probably should have said something but I didn't. I just went bright red and stood up and dizzily walked off the train with no depth perception. If she'd have noticed when I was sat next to her, I would have just imploded from embarrassment. I'm so sorry, yellow dress lady. Anyway, glasses-less and contact lensless. I spent the rest of the weekend having some very blurry chats with some very blurry faces. This is where I play a little bit of 21 Pilots, but I'd probably get a copyright complaint. Until one of my friends lent me some of his old glasses, which saved the day but made me look kind of Molman-esque. Thankfully, there's no pictures of that. But here is an artist's rendition. <laughs> So the moral of the story is, uh, don't itch your eyes, don't lose your glasses, don't be near other humans. There we go. Don't be near other humans, if you're me, in any situation. In other quite dramatic news, I'm gonna give you a moment. I've decided to put an end to Draw Feel Naked. <laughs> Yeah, this has been a long time coming. I just felt like there was only so many ways people could draw me naked in a non-creepy way and we reached that limit a while ago. I mean, some people on Tumblr have gone above that limit, but we won't talk about that. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to anyone that has ever submitted one. I think it's had a great run and will always be remembered as part of Amazing Phil, but it's time to move on from the draw Phil naked. And to give it a good send off, here's a montage of some of my favorites. Continuing the creepy theme, people have also started drawing me naked. <laughs> Goodbye, draw Phil naked. Always mildly creepy, yet very entertaining. Goodbye!